Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, fix the issue that this box is having. This is the MEG 322W1 box and I have Voodoo installed in here. So um, I'm going to show you how to uh, fix this issue. So um, I know a lot of people are, are getting this problem and I know a lot more will. Um, so let's just let it boot up and then you'll see what I'm talking about. For more of your DSP is out of date, please update it. So I'm just going to show you that. This is up to date. So as you can see, it's up to date and I'm still getting that message. What's happening is Informer, I believe, is blocking a lot of the IPT services. So uh, I will show you. And it's Voodoo. So this box is right now, Voodoo will not work on it. So I will show you how to fix this. So what you're going to do is downloaded a no blocking firmware on this USB below it will show you which version you want and stuff so you guys could just upload it to your computer then just on a fresh USB just uh, install it on there and then this is what you do let your so what do is reboot and while it's rebooting on your remote, this one right here, hold it down, do not let go, and you will get the menu page, this page here. So I know a lot of guys saying to fix that issue, just do a default settings. This does not default the whole box. It probably does change a few of the things, but not that much. So what I would do, or you could actually see one of my other videos will show you 100% how to reboot that box or reset it back to factory uh, completely. And uh, it's in one of my other videos. And this one here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to upgrade. Because I did some other videos today, or not videos really, just fixing these boxes. I already have one here, so what I'm going to do is... It's gonna, what you should do is format it, name it, whatever you want. I just named it Meg322. But make sure it's a clean, so it's gotta be FAT32. So, click on yes. Complete, close, open it up. So, here's the, the one I downloaded earlier. So what I'm going to do is unzip it. If you got Windows, just double click on it. It will open up. So your file is in here. So what you want to do is drag the whole thing. So make sure you, you drag the folder. Do not delete the folder, or open it, and just drag the image. Uh, it needs the folder. Your box will find it faster this way.
So if I double click on here, you see the image. The image is right there. So let's close this, close that, eject. Let's go back to the box. So I got the firmware on the USB. Let's plug it in. And let's go to upgrade tools. It's going to take a bit of time, so let's sit back and let's see what happens. You guys could fast forward this part if you want. Just I want to show you that I'm not editing the video in any way. This will take, uh, yeah, it takes about three minutes, four minutes around there. If you have like a, the Meg 250 box or 254, the other way of doing this is downloading some old firmware, which will be a link below the comments as well. Keep in mind guys, before you do this update, make sure you write down your your portal's information just in case it, did, it does get deleted. This one here, it looks like Voodoo is about to reload. There you go. That's guaranteed it will work for you. It's worked for me. This is the third box I've done today and each one of them popped up right away. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. I'll be posting more videos like this on, on my channel. Thank you so much.